Good morning. Here's a question. Does Jeremiah's faithfulness mean that the nation of Israel is being tested? We're going to read from Jeremiah 27 to 30 today. By the way, after the final prayer, just stay by for just a moment for a little continuity note, an important note. Right now, looking at Jeremiah 6, 27 to 30, I have set you as an assayer and a fortress among my people that you may know and test their way. They're all stubborn rebels, walking as slanderers. They are bronze and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows blow fiercely. The lead is consumed by the fire. The smelter refines in vain, for the wicked are not drawn off. People will call them rejected silver, because the Lord has rejected them. So, Jeremiah, filled with sorrow and sadness. So, Jeremiah, filled with sorrow and sadness for his people, delivers his message. God knows that for Jeremiah, this is, this is just, this is heart-rending to the maximum. So he reassures his prophet again. He says to his prophet, I have set you as a fortress among this people. Their testing reveals to them and to Jeremiah their spiritual deficiencies. Many are going to fail. It's going to seem as though the application of heat is just going to uh, burn up Israel. There won't be anything left. They just won't be able to stand the testing. It's going to seem that way. It's going to seem as though with the application of all this heat that rather than being purified, that Israel will be melted away. There won't be anything left. It's going to seem that way. But Jeremiah must be faithful still and trust him still. God's purpose is, is redemptive. It's not destructive. They need to experience this testing. It's, it's the only thing that can bring some of them back to him. You know, there is a place for severe testing. When Jesus came and walked uh, among the people, and we've got 102 devotional videos just on the book of Mark out of the four Gospels, when Jesus walked among the people, that was a time for severe testing. And has it occurred to you that our generation is in for severe testing right now? And has it occurred to you that our generation, way down here, in this end of time, is up for some pretty severe testing, don't you think? Never before has a people been so inundated by such strong and subtle pressures. But you and your children are. God has some very strong purposes for this generation. So let's hold on tight. Let's be as faithful as Jeremiah, seeking to do God's will. And, you know, even though we look around and we can't understand everything fully, we can trust him fully. And in the end, that's just, that is what we need to do. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you today that you're watching over your people. You've not forgotten us. In fact, you have equipped us for the very time in which we live and believe and are to do Christianity. You've equipped us. So bless us, Lord. Help us to be faithful. Jeremiah's prophetic message to that people was, was not a vote of no confidence. It was a vote in, in great confidence in the power and help you have for your people. And likewise for us, the things that our generation is going through. You're giving us insight from the Bible and through prophecy. Those are helps to show us that you have confidence that in your strength we can overcome. Lord, help us to see this high vision you have for us, that we can prevail spiritually and serve you in this time. Bless your people even now. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I said that at the end of the message today, there'd be a brief note. What I want to do is uh, put you in touch with some different resources. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try to follow through the book of Jeremiah here in a chronological order as much as we can do that. The book seems kind of jumbled because of the order of some of the material. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Putting, I'm putting on the screen right now a, a list of the sequence. We're going to go through these chapters. So tomorrow morning, we're going straight over to Jeremiah chapter 13 to carry on there. And we'll go through this uh, in that order. Also, there's a resource you can get. It's an outline of the entire book of Jeremiah. And if you want, I'll put the link up here to my website, greatcontroversy.org. You can take a look at that. That may also be useful to you in getting a better grip on what's going on in the book of Jeremiah. So there we have it. You have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.